Yes, in this case, we require to compute e of 4x plus 5 and v of 3x. First of all, let us understand what do we mean by e of 4x plus 5. If we open the bracket, it is e of 4x plus e of 5. That means e of 4x is nothing, it is 4 e of x. The property of expected value is if the values of random variable are multiplied by any constant number, then the expected value of this new random variable after multiplication is nothing, it is constant number of times the expected value of original random value. So, e of 4x is 4 e of x. And the second property of the expected value is expected value of any constant number is the constant number of itself. That means expected value of 5 is nothing but 5. So, to get the answer of this problem, e of 4x plus 5, we have to calculate e of x. Now, the second case. Variance of 3x. The property of variance is if the original values of the random variable are multiplied by any constant value, the result will be squared number of times the constant value. So, v of 3x comes to 3 square into v of x. The variance on the new random variable after multiplication will be squared value of the constant value times of the original variance. So, for this result, we need to calculate v of x. So, let us first calculate e of x as well as v of x and then we can find the answers of these two questions. And to get e of x, we need x into p of x. Minus 3 into 0 0.05 is minus 0.15 minus 2 into 0.1 is minus 0.2 minus 1 into 0.3 is minus 0.3 0 into 0 is 0 1 into 0.3 is 0.3 2 into 0.1 is also 0.3 and 3 into 0.1 is also 0.3 the total of positive numbers comes to 0.9 and the total of negative numbers comes to 0.36 sorry 0.65 so the net is 0 0.25 0 0.9 minus 0 0.65 so the expected value is 0.25 now for calculation of v of x first we have to prepare the fourth column x square into v of x that means x into x into p of x. Minus 3 into 0.15 is minus 0.45. Minus 2 into 0.2 is minus 0.4. Minus 1, these are positive values actually. Minus 1 into minus 0.3 comes to 0.3. 0 remains 0. Now positive numbers 1 into 0.3, 0.3. 2 into 0 0.3, 0 0.6, 3 into 0 0.3, 0 0.9. Positive summation is 1.8 and this positive summation is 1.15. So, total comes to 2.95. This is sigma x square into p of x or e of x square. e of x square is... 2.95 that means v of x is now possible e of x square minus e of x the whole square 2.95 minus 0.25 square so 2.95 minus 0 0.0625 that is 2.8875 is it
Now we can calculate these two. First we require to calculate e of 4x plus 5. Now we know that it is 4 e of x plus 5. 4 into 0.25 plus 5. 4 into 0 0.25 is 1 plus 5. So the ultimate result is 6. Number 2 is v of 3x and we know that it is 3 square into v of x that is 9 into 2.8875. It is 25.98 approximately.